if you're going to use AI in your process at all, almost by definition, you are going to lose a little intuition. You know, we've always prided ourselves on the balance of we intuitively understand why we think this makes money and the evidence that it makes money. But if you weren't giving up some intuition, what the heck is the AI doing? If it's simple and you could have just seen it with the naked eye, it's hard to imagine it's, it's helping. Um, but let me give you a concrete example. We like good momentum. Mm -hmm. I, we like it in price. We like it in fundamentals. One way people uh, on the quant side have tried to measure this for years is something like earnings calls. Um, trying to decide if earnings calls are good news or bad news. And if people underreact to good news, you want to buy when it's when it's good news. But and is this just like how many times people say great quarter, guys? Or are you looking at something else? It's going to sound about as silly as that. Okay. You build up tables of words and phrases with numerical values. Hmm. And then you say, what's the numerical score of this? Hmm. And they can be much more subtle than this. I'm going to use a real simple example. The word increasing, plus one. Right. And I'm sure you see the flaw. If the actual sentence was massive embezzlement is increasing, <laughs> you know, yeah. are, are bad on that one. The amount of fraud we're seeing in our private credit deals yeah. is increasing. Quant can survive looking stupid a lot 